your Son upon them. Praise is due to thee, O God, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed in Jerusalem. Thou that hearest the prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. My misdeeds prevail against me, O be thou merciful unto our sins. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and receivest, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the pleasures of thy house, even of thy holy temple. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, the Maker and Redeemer of all believers, grant the favor to pardon all the unsearchable benefits of thy Son's passion, that in the day of his appearing they may be manifested as thy true children, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The first lesson is written in the Revelation according to St. John, in the 21st chapter, beginning at the first verse. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God will wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel is written in the sixth chapter of the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John, beginning at the 35th verse. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. All the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me, I will no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven, not to my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son, and believeth on him, may have everlasting life, and I'll raise him up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to thee, O Christ. Friends, we receive this for a few moments. Today we gather in this very holy place to offer unto God our prayers and thanksgivings for the gift of Job, to rejoice in his life and the rich legacy he leaves to all of us. We rejoice in the faith that he shared, the faith that's our faith. In the face of death, we rejoice in the gift of new life. That's why traditionally in this parish we use black vestments for services. Black symbolizing our sorrow, that sense of loss that taunts us at times. 
but also we use the silver or gold to remind us that in the midst of death, we celebrate the new hope of the resurrection. And you know, so often at funerals, I try to reflect on the scripture passage uh, related to the person that died, but the passage that I kept coming up with was from Shakespeare. I thought very appropriately, and I'm going to butcher Shakespeare, so it would drive Joel crazy, I realize that, but you know, it says, all the world's a stage, and we're called upon it to play many parts. And that's what I think of Job. A man of faith, a man of wonderful creativity, a man with lots of love. Love for, of course, Michelle and for his family, but love for the artistic community. I know Michelle was saying how many people have responded to her since Joe's death, saying he had been a mentor to them, had made a difference in their life, that you know, his legacy continues on the stage, not only in Canada and Ottawa, but around the world. So we have much to give thanks for, for the gift of Joe. And we really miss him here. I know Michelle and the family do, but Joe and Michelle were such a part of this parish community. Joe's abiding concern for those less fortunate. Uh, many may not know that uh, Michelle and Joe were part of our community key outreach ministry here. And uh, so many people uh, look forward to seeing Joe. A few times he couldn't be here, they'd say, where's that old fellow? Where is he? You know? And because Joe was, would wait on people, engage in conversation, and his, that wonderful smile that Joe had was a real witness to Christ. The joy he felt in life, the faith, his faith that gave to him. He shared that with others. And it was always marvelous to see the response to people, uh, to Joe. And of course, uh, we have one Christian who wanted to be here today, but he's not well enough. We work with Joe in many things, the little theater, and they shared a great love of theater. The two of them start singing show tunes and things like that. And I guess I like to tell it was an acquired taste. But we must give thanks for today. We commend Joe to God's gracious keeping into that kingdom as the first reading reminds us where there's no death. Now the sorrow, no crying, the joy and peace of God's presence. And we draw strength from the promises that we have from Jesus himself, that all who see the Son and believe on him shall have eternal life. And for Joe, those weren't just words on a page, that was his hope. I remember the last visit from Michelle, I had and Michelle, with Michelle and Joe in the in palliative care, we shared that very passage of scripture, and you could tell that, yes, Joe knew that to be true. He was looking forward to fulfillment of that promise. So we meet together today, yes, in sorrow and in such deep sadness, but also with joy for the hope that we share together in Christ, that hope that Joe now knows in all its richness and fullness. So let us join now in the Nicene Creed, you'll find lists of your prayer books, uh, the simple summary of the faith of Michelle and all of us in the Joe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, through whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. Was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and descended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who in the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We come now to the prayers. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O Almighty God, with whom did live the spirits of them that depart hence in the Lord, with whom the souls of the faithful are in joy and felicity, we praise and magnify thy holy name for all thy servants who have finished their course and kept the faith. 
and committing our brother Joe to thy gracious keeping, we pray that we with him, and with all those that are departed in the true faith of thy holy name, may have our perfect consummation in bliss, both in body and in soul, in thy eternal and everlasting glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, whose days are without end, and whose mercies cannot be numbered, make us who beseech thee deeply sensible of the shortness and uncertainty of human life, and let thy Holy Spirit lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days, that when we shall have served thee in our generation, we may be gathered unto our fathers, having the testimony of a good conscience, in the communion of the Catholic Church, in the confidence of a certain faith, in the comfort of a reasonable, religious, and holy hope, and favor with thee our God, and in perfect charity with all men. Grant this if he seeks thee, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Almighty God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, multiply we seeks thee to those who rest in Jesus, the manifold blessings of thy love, that the good work which thou didst begin in them may be perfected out of the day of Jesus Christ. And of thy mercy, O Heavenly Father, grant that we who now serve thee here on earth may at the last, together with them, be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, for the sake of the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Rest, give rest, O Christ, to thy servant Joe with thy saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sign but life everlasting. For thou, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Ye that do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead the new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith, and take this holy sacrament to your comfort, and make your humble confession to Almighty God, meekly kneeling upon your knees. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, to judge of all men, we acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed, by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty. We do earnestly repent, and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with heart repentance and true faith in unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, Creator and Preserver of all things. Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, forever and ever. All that is in heaven and the earth is thine. All things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. 
The Holy Mass days offer God's glory and praise and joyful thanksgiving for the hope that we share in Christ. In the midst of death, we celebrate the gift of the resurrection and of our resurrection through Christ. We pray a special day for Joe O'Brien. We give thanks for his life for the rich blessings we receive by, for, from God through him. We commend his soul into God's gracious keeping. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this, our sacrifice, will be acceptable unto God the Father, Almighty. May the Lord receive this sacrifice at your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, both to our benefit and that of all his holy church. And now the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is me to write, so to do. It is very me, right, and our bound in duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, Creator and Preserver of all things. But chiefly are we bound to praise thee for the glorious resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the very classical Lamb which was offered for us and hath taken away the sin of the world, who by his death hath destroyed death, and by his rise into life again hath restored to us everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Blessing and glory and thanksgiving be unto the Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his blood oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and that institute and in this holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memorial of his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee, and grant that we receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, a coin of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, Remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, we, thy humble servants, all thy holy church, remembering the precious death thy beloved Son, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again in glory, do make before thee in this sacrament of the holy bread of eternal life, and the cup of everlasting salvation, the memorial which he hath commanded. And we entirely desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseech thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And we pray that by the power of thy Holy Spirit, all we who are partakers of this Holy Communion may be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath commanded and taught us, we pray with joy, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. We do not, not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, grant him rest. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, grant him rest. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, grant him rest and eternal. My dear friends, behold the body and blood of Jesus Christ, the very food and drink of everlasting life. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ, given for thee. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. O Father of all, we pray to thee for those who we love but see no longer. Grant them thy peace. And in thy loving wisdom and almighty power, work in them the good purpose of thy perfect will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rest eternal and grant unto Joe, O Lord, 
and let life perpetual shine upon him. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his helps upon you and give you peace this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and rejoicing the hope that is ours in the risen Christ. Thanks be to God.